Over 12,000 Baptist church-related musicians are gathered here at the Tarrant County Convention Center for what they call the Festival of Praise. It's a marathon music festival that lasts into the late evening hours, perhaps into the early morning hours, this evening and tomorrow morning. Don Houston of Southern Seminary is the conductor. At the moment, you hear in the background the well-known and well-beloved Hallelujah Chorus. Let's listen to the music. The basic rays that we see that are associated with the time of totality happens to be that we refer to as the flash spectrum. Now, the flash spectrum is only seen during totality, and what we're looking at then is the low-pressure gas that surrounds the actual surface of the sun, in other words, the true atmosphere of the sun. Then, of course, uh, sticking out along the outside of it would be something like this. Of course, if this were totality, we'd see the remarkable corona, and no two eclipses are are alike, of course, but what I'm referring to here is this outer ridge here that sticks out along the outside. This area right here is the true atmosphere of the sun. It's called the chromosphere, and it's that part that we can actually study. And no other time, of course, except when the moon covers the disk, do we see this thin uh, atmosphere around the outside. And we can study the composition of it, of course, and uh, the characteristics of it. It's that part that we expect, I hope, this time to obtain, let's say, a motion picture series of the flash spectrum of the sun during the time of this totality. Uh, it would be my hope that uh, we could hold the house seats and that we could perhaps pick up some. Uh, be very realistic and very honest with you. I'd like to think we could pick up the needed 30 plus what we now hold. But our big trouble is that so many of the people are leaving safe seats and seeking other seats, gubernatorial seats or seats in the Senate. And as soon as you leave a safe seat, a so-called safe seat, that one man has done a good job, then you're in peril in that area, unless you have an equally good person to go back in. So there is a risk there, and it's very difficult then to hold your base and still build to on top. It's possible. And if the mood of the people is the same as it is right now, I think it's, it's very possible. But um, I do see us picking up the snow. About 90 Dallas women bankers held a study session this morning in a hotel room decorated with pictures of the Old West. But their topic was far from the Old West. It was, in fact, the New West and the role of women in Texas. The three guest speakers were three of the Dallas members of the newly created Governor's Commission on the Status of Women. 
One of those commission members is Anita Marcus. Uh, we're reared in a sort of attitude, a society which was probably quite apropos to the past, that you get married, uh, you have your children, and you live happily ever after. Of course, when we find that a great percentage of the labor force, in fact, one-third of the labor force today in America is made up of women, and it's growing, and uh, millions of women with children are working, and millions more might, that this is no longer a realistic attitude. So that we need this guidance and counseling from specially designed for women from children and that we also have got to question the attitudes which have been handed down to us from an earlier society that are no longer with it in the 70s and for the last third of this exciting 20th century. They said because of low ratings, however, the ratings were fine. As a matter of fact, we had tied Merv Griffin the week before. We had beaten him a few weeks before that. Mm -hmm. And we did that with, with uh, 50 fewer stations than Merv has. You see, NBC, as you know, is about 205 right. stations, yeah. and CBS is about 190 or so. And we have on the ABC network about 144. Mm -hmm. They said low ratings, uh, however, it's difficult to, uh, to really understand uh, how low they mean because, as I said, we were tied for second well, place. Well, do you yourself think it was treated rather unfairly? Well, in a sense that it was never really explained why uh, uh, to the public or to us, uh, in that sense it was unfairly, but, you know, shows come and go. Mm -hmm. And to uh, cry over a show that has uh, had a three-year run, after all, three yeah, years is a long true. time. I doubt very much if any late night show will last that long against Johnny Carson. As the activities of the Status of Women's Commission uh, are, are they part of some kind of feminist movement or the women's right movement or the no bra movement or whatever? From my estimation, some of these movements may have been influenced by the status on the Commission of Women, but I don't think they relate quite so closely. Uh, the first commission was appointed by uh, President Kennedy some years ago to assess the role of women in society. Uh, we. I think where I would differ from some of my personally would differ from some of the women's rights group. Uh, certainly, basically, we all believe a woman, woman should be judged as an individual to develop her capacities, whether it's housewife and mother, professionally, and what other area. But I don't believe that there is any necessity to sacrifice what we would call our femininity to achieve any sort of role that we might visualize for developing our human resources in our country. ...to resign as National Committee man so that he could, in effect, have some influence in the reappointment of the next person. No, that rumor was not of LBJ, that it was, uh, uh, I saw it quoted in the paper this morning, that, uh, that the governor wanted me to do so, but I, I've heard nothing about that. The governor never suggested that to me, and uh, so far as I know, Governor Smith is very pleased that, uh, that I have this new post, and uh, matter of fact, I expect to see him tomorrow in San Antonio at the State Democratic Executive Committee meeting. How do you plan to get the Democrats out of debt? Some, was it $8 million plus? Do you have any formulas now? Oh, no, Teal. I have no magic wand, no formulas. Uh, I'll solicit you for contributions to start off with. <laughs>